We are under some beautiful dark skies to test out the Nikon 14 to 24 f 2.8 S lens for the Z series cameras. Now I've got this uh, 14 to 24 2.8 uh, S mounted to my Astro modded Z7. Um, so we're going to really see just how well uh, this lens not only performs but performs with a modified camera too. Um, sometimes with modified cameras they can have issues at wider uh, focal lengths, uh, but this is going to be a bit of a test. Now, I'm going to uh, shoot through a range of uh, focal lengths from 14mm uh, to 20mm to 24mm because these are the focal lengths that we tend to use um, a fair bit, and the focal lengths that you tend you can also buy in primes as well, like the 20mm 1.8 S lens, 24mm 1.8 S lens and the old 14mm 2.8 G lens. Uh, so we'll shoot the, those three focal lengths um, all at f2.8. I'm not going to bother about changing it to f4 or um, anything like that because the reason we buy these lenses is for those big apertures and we want to make sure that those big apertures are giving us the quality of light that we want. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's turn on the camera and get imaging. The first image we're going to take tonight is uh, at 14 millimeters. Now, 14 millimeters is a very popular focal length for nightscape photography, um, so we'll give that a crack first. And it's also going to show up any uh, issues with a modified camera too. We're going to start off with a 20 second exposure because we want to try and keep these stars relatively pinpoint and trail free, because uh, we are reviewing just how good the star quality is uh, corner to corner f2.8 nice big aperture wide open that's how we want things and i'm going to use an iso of uh, 3200 i'm not going to push it up to 6400 10,000. there's no need for that um i feel so iso 3200 f2.8 20 second exposure with a custom white balance um here we go all right our first image is complete so let's go check it out and uh Obviously, when I was taking that shot, somebody with a big spotlight is out there because it, uh, it is Easter and uh, there's a lot of people around this area camping that I love to come to when it's absolutely no one around. Um, as soon as there's a long weekend, everyone comes along. Okay, so let's check it out. First thing I'm going to look at is the star quality from corner to corner. And just by zooming in this lens, I can tell it is super sharp and looks great in the center as most lenses do. Now, as we go to the top left corner, just having a look, and <laughs> these stars are incredibly pinpoint. Um, compared to the old legendary 14 to 24 f 2.8 G lens, this thing just kills it. Really happy about that. Now, let's have a look at the, uh, the top right. <laughs> I do have a, a bit of trailing going on there. Um, so the stars aren't quite as pinpoint as they should be, but it's still very, very good. And one of the other things I can also notice, which is the, the second qualification for a good astro lens, is chromatic aberration. And is there any of that? Not really, no. Jeez, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit speechless, I guess you could say. Uh, how good these uh, these Z lenses really are for astrophotography. Um, the, they do say that they design these lenses um, as a, a point of light coming in through the lens as a point of light coming, going out onto the sensor. And it's pretty much true. I mean, absolutely stunning. Also, 14mm with a modified camera. I'm having no problems there at all with uh, sharpness and, um, and issues there. I do know of someone, uh, a mate, who did get his camera modified and he has a Sony camera uh, and he says that he finds he can't really shoot anything past 20 millimeters with that. Um, so I don't know what the full story is there, but anyone else that has a Sony camera or a Canon camera um, that's astro modded, let me know if you can shoot at super wide angles without any uh, distortions or issues with your stars in the corners. Right, the other cool thing I do like about this lens is the display on the top. And it helps us for uh, helps out a bit for us Astro guys, so I can easily see it and turn to precisely 
20 mils. Now, um, it's it's one of those love hate things that uh, digital uh, display on the uh, top of the uh, top of the lenses for a lot of people, but uh, for Astro, it's a it's a very welcome um, uh, thing to have. All right, so we're just set up 20 mil, exact same settings. And we're going to fire this shot off, and we'll check out the image. So we just finished our exposure at 20 millimeters. Now let's go check it out. Again, it's looking really good. Um, let's just zoom in on the image and have a bit of a look. Zoom in a bit more. Top left-hand corner. Again, top and left-hand corner is looking really good. Um, yeah, really good actually. Nice and pinpoint stars. Top right-hand corner. We'll have a look at that too. And the top right is looking is looking really good. It's probably looking uh, a bit better than the uh, the 14 mil um, version of it. But uh, no, it looks it looks brilliant compared to the old 14 to 24. Now, don't get me wrong, the old 14 to 24 2.2.8 uh, G lens was a legend of its time. Uh, unfortunately, that legend I think is now ready for retirement. Because these are the new uh, the new legends of the Astro field, I think, and I know a lot of these guys are probably not going to like hearing that. Um, now the bottom right hand corners and the bottom left hand corners we can't quite see because of the uh, uh, the landscape, but I'm pretty damn certain they look exactly the same as the top left and top right. So what I'm going to do is just turn on the display. We're going to go to 24 mil. This time I'm going to lower the exposure down to uh, 15 seconds just to make sure we do get those uh, pinpoint stars and again f2.8 ISO 3200 let's go check that out all right so our 24 millimeter exposure is uh, now complete so let's check it out again looking really good now it could be a bit different when we get this on a computer and have a bit of a look but uh, Stars are looking really nice and pinpoint. Now just having a look at the top top left corner again. Those stars look unbelievable. Um, yeah, better again. So 14 mil was really acceptable. Like it was it was really, really good. Then 20 mil was a step up, just that little it's only a fraction, but a little bit, and now 24 mil, uh, that's an even bigger jump. And just like the uh, top left hand corner the top right is is just as good also chromatic aberration I really can't see any at all and that was the same with the uh, the 20 mil focal length too so all I can say about the 14 to 24 f 2.8 SZ lens is that it's going to be my new favorite lens for nightscape photography um, there's really not much more to say. I'm going to throw up all these images on my uh, website for you to have a bit more of a, a look at a slightly larger uh, image. So the link will be in the description below. Now, there is one last thing I want to do. And, uh, and it's only because I've actually got it with me. So, let's set this lens up on the, sky tr on the, on the tracker and, uh, and shoot a nice long exposure and see how that looks. the tracking man out it's all set up ready to go it's a sky watcher star adventurer 2i so all i'm going to do is switch it to my app mode and i'm going to use my phone to control the exposure um, with the cable um, shutter release cable now the cool thing about my z7 or the z cameras is that you can save user 
setting. So this one here is all set, ready to go um, with my Skywatcher uh, mount. So we're at f2.8. I'm going to shoot at a, a night. Actually, I've got to change this. So I'm going to change the ISO down to 800 from 1600. And uh, we're going to shoot a two minute exposure. And this is really going to show us just how good this lens is um, for astrophotography. I'm also going to be shooting this at 14 millimeters as well. So why not? Let's just go super wide. Um, and with the tracking mount, being able to track the sky, we can really, really see just how good these stars are. So uh, with all that being said, let's get imaging. All right, so we've just finished our uh, two minute long exposure on the tracker. Now let's see how well it's turned out. I've got a funny feeling because I eyeballed the uh, polar alignment. It might not be as good as we hope. Um, but <laughs> just looking at the screen itself, it looks pretty cool to me. Now uh, I can see so many uh, really cool objects. The uh, LMC, the SMC, so our companion ga galaxies to our very Milky Way. I can see the uh, Eta Carina Nebula, the Running Chicken Nebula, and part of the Gum Nebula as well. So the uh, the um, modified Z7 is doing a real good job of picking a lot of that stuff up. But let's have a look at these uh, these stars. And let me tell you, the top left looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, and this is a 14 mil too. So remember, we've been we're tracking here, um, so it's going to give us an even better idea on just how well these uh, these stars are before it was just um, still images and we're working with the uh, Earth's rotation there to try and keep our stars as um, still as we can with short exposures but uh, this is just proving that a point of light in is a point of light out and the chromatic aberration again you'd be hard done by if you said that there was some there I mean I can't see really any at all and I am uh, and I am absolutely thrilled that this is going to be my new lens for nightscape photography all right well I'm going to put all these videos up on my website so if you want to check that out there's a link below in the in the description if you've got any comments please let me know um, I'd love to hear your take on the uh, the Z lenses if you've got some yourself um, or even if you've used the 14 to 24 f 2.8 s Z lens and you've uh, and you've getting very similar results to uh, how I see it. I'd love to see that. Or even if you shoot with a different camera brand and you've got a really good favorite go-to lens that you enjoy that gives you pinpoint stars across the whole frame, um, let me know in the comments below because uh, I'd, I'd be very interested to see what other lenses out there for other brands uh, and makes of camera. Um, if this is the first video you guys have, uh, have ever seen, please go check out some of my other Astro videos. And if you enjoy them, uh, hit that subscribe. Every subscribe means a, a great deal to me. And I absolutely love it. And, and last but not least, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. So, uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy. See you.